So now I'll talk a little bit about some of the analytics um, that we've developed. Um, one recent uh, publication that we've had come out of our lab um, is related to nonware. Um, so nonware could be considered data preparation, um, but um, so we're simply identifying and ignoring periods of unusable data where the device was not being worn. Um, but because we're very early interested in, in evaluating the feasibility of our multi-sensor approach, it's extremely important that we're able to accurately identify and quantify the amount of time devices were actually being worn. Um, so uh, existing non-wear algorithms uh, focus on acceleration um, or the lack of acceleration to determine when a device isn't being worn. And that can be problematic because uh, it can end up misclassifying um, non-wear as sleep or sedentary behavior. Um, some attempts ha have been made to, to use temperature, um, but they usually depend on uh, the temperature sensor on the device reaching an absolute temperature. Um, so one of the students in our lab, Adam Vert, had a, a novel idea to use the rate of change of temperature. There's a very distinct uh, change in temperature when a person removes a device and when they put it back on. Um, so with that in mind, we were able to improve non-wear detection and thereby improve our ability to detect sleep and sedentary behavior. <laughs>